All right, what is going on? Uh, I'm back with another video. So today I'm not going to be cooking, but I'm actually going to be reviewing the uh, Anza espresso machine. I think that's how you say it, Anza. Um, so I picked this up about a week ago from Essence since they were all sold out on their website. But um, I actually did get a 15% off uh, from Essence. So that was really nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be reviewing it. I'm going to make a cappuccino. Uh, I'm going to tell you the things I do and don't like about it. And yeah, so let's do it. So I did pick up a uh, distributor, I think that's what it's called, and a tamper since it didn't come with one, but I do believe it was supposed to come with like a plastic one. But um, if you are gonna be buying the machine, I would definitely recommend um, to buy both of these because it's been a little bit tricky to, you know, get my shots dialed in. Um, I was using this for about like eight years, but um, it's just starting to get really weak and you know, uh, started to leak everywhere um, so I kind of you know I had to change the solenoid twice already um, which it would just you know um, I would plug it in and the GFCI would just um, get triggered so yeah it's just getting really annoying so yeah I'm gonna be making a cappuccino um, so I'm not a barista but if you have any tips for me tips and tricks uh, yeah let me know so I'm gonna be using this Brevel um, grinder I was trying to mess around with it, trying to change the sizes. I was doing like 13, 17, the timing. It was a little bit tricky, but I'm still trying to figure it out. And also I can't figure out how to steam the milk on this because this has like the three uh, holes in the in the wand, which that only has one, but I was able to do that. Uh, I was able to steam the milk really good on the Brevel and this one is a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna be making a cappuccino. Um, I'm gonna pull the shot with this, but I'm gonna do the milk with that and then i'm going to show you why for some reason i can't get the milk to steam on this so we'll do that so get some regular milk here um that i bought just to you know try to figure out this this uh steaming situation i still can't get it down but i'm also using uh peaks coffee from uh new york i think they're they're from it's called mountain climber really really good consistent one of my favorites um okay so i got that done i'm gonna level this out a little bit take this I probably should get a uh, a tamping mat, so don't come after me. <laughs> Still haven't got one yet. Looks good. I'm tamp it. So you want to get the mat so you don't break the the spout on the portafiller. But I'm not doing it too hard. So I got that done, and while that's heating up a little bit, I'm gonna steam the milk on this. So what I usually do is just get some air into this for a few seconds. Once you hear that like uh, whistling noise, it's a good sign. So it looks good. And then I'm just gonna keep whirlpooling it. I'm just gonna put it down so it comes up to temperature. And while that's going, I'm gonna pull this shot. So I'm gonna run it a little bit. This is coming up to temperature. This one takes a lot longer than the other one. The milk is really nice. Okay, so the light stops blinking, stop blinking. I'm gonna insert this. And it's a little bit rough when you're putting it in. I'm not sure why, but maybe it's from the, the amount I put in. Looks really good, uh, nice color. It's pulling at about 12 bars. I'm pretty sure you have to be around like like nine, I think is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna swirl this a bit. Look, it looks really nice. So I mean, I know how to, I know how to, you know, throw off the milk on that machine. But I'm gonna show you, like I said, um, for some reason I can't get it on that. So I'm gonna transfer this. Not 
knock some bubbles out. And for some reason, my lattes come out like a little bit um, watery, I would say. Like it's missing some of that, you know, good f coffee taste. It just tastes like a little bit weak, which I never had a problem with uh, the Brevel. So, looks like a good shot to me. Not over, not under, I don't think. Looks good. Also, I'm not a barista, so don't <laughs> laugh at my latte art skills. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. I don't know what happened with that, but <laughs> I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why I can't get the milk to, you know, froth. So I'm going to turn on the middle uh, switch, which is the steam. And that just means that it's uh, coming up to temperature. So I guess you have to be pretty patient with it overall. Um, which is it's kind of annoying because it's not like a dual boiler and it uh, You know, you can't just like work at the same time So I'm gonna try to turn this on and see what happens It's really quick reactive, but a lot of water comes out. So you want to have like an extra jug all the time See it's really weak right now, so maybe it does have to come up to temperature Maybe I'll turn it off and on one more time. Yeah, so I guess once it stops blinking, that means it's ready. <laughs> Let's try this. Yeah, it tastes good. Um, I probably drink way too many of these. I probably had four or five today just trying to mess around and make these and try to get them really good. But as you can tell, still not coming out. I usually make it with half and half, so maybe that's why the texture came out a little bit different. Overall though, I mean, it's really, really nice. Uh, it has a glass water uh, container, what do you want to call it, tank. So I'm not sure if it's up to temperature yet. It's still like blinking. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to purge this. See, it's very strong, which is really cool. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to show you why this doesn't come out for me. This one did come out a little bit better, but still kind of like too thick, I would say. Not too, too bad, but um, not how I would like it. But this one came out a little bit better. It's really, really strong, which is nice. It gets hot quick. So overall, I would definitely recommend this machine. It's really nice. I really do like it, like a nice, it's like a nice upgrade, you know, from the, from the Brevel. Um, it catches a lot of eyes. Once you get everything dialed in, you can uh, make some pretty cool and pretty good coffee. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can. it's not too, too bad. Uh, I think you just have to practice a little bit more. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Um, maybe wait until it's on sale if you want to get a little bit cheaper, which is cool. I will link down below where I got it. They don't have it on sale anymore, but maybe they'll have a sale in the summer. So keep your eye out for that. And um, yeah. If you have any, uh, you know, comments or, or suggestions or tips and, you know, how to pull a better shot or how to steam the milk better, just let me know. That being said, until next time.